the perfect Frenchie, there are two main things that you need. One is a very long, thin liner brush like this one. This is a Votino 20 millimeter, but any long liner brush will do. Use the cheap Amazon brushes will be really thick and frayed. Those are hard to work with. You need a long, thin one like this. The other thing that you need is a gel that is very pigmented. If you're using a gel that isn't pigmented enough, you're gonna put it on and it's not gonna be opaque enough and it's gonna be streaky and then you're gonna to have to lay it on real thick to try and compensate for that and it's not gonna work. I'm using Magpie Artie Gel. This is super thick and pigmented. It's almost too thick. This There's a learning curve to using this. Another one I would recommend is the, just grabbing a random color, the Nails by Dev Liner Gel. These are perfect. Her white is perfect for Frenchies. So make sure that you're using a polish that is pigmented enough and you're using a long, thin brush to set yourself up for success. Now into the technique. You want to remember the rule of thirds when you are doing Frenchies. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a line for like the bottom third in the center of my nail. That's going to be my guideline for how deep the French is going to go. And then I'm gonna mark the first third on each side here. And that's how I know how far back to take it. And then this part just takes some practice. There isn't really any secret to it other than using a nice long brush like this to make it easier for yourself. But you're just gonna swipe it down in one motion as best you can. One in that direction. One in this direction. And then we're good. Uh, you can fill this in with a, a filler brush, a square oval brush. You can use the liner brush, but it might take some extra time on such a long nail with so much to fill in. Whatever works for you. But if you follow the rule of thirds, you will have the perfect smile line every time. Thanks. See you next time.